Off-roading. Skeet shooting. Sit-ups. All things Kent Stevenson found too difficult after a dirt bike accident five years ago left him paralyzed from the chest down. The doctors just told me, you know, this is what you got. and You're going to have to live in a wheelchair the rest of your life. A severe spinal cord injury turned his legs into limp, dead weight. But now, with the push of a button, he can move them once again. Left leg up. Kent is part of a small study at the University of Louisville that's showing promise for treating paralysis. He had an electrical stimulator implanted in his back two years ago that zaps his spinal cord when activated. The goal was to modulate those damaged nerves in the spinal cord so that they once again put, could, would become receptive to the stimuli. Electrical stimulation worked in one paralyzed patient earlier in the study, but now three more, including Kent, have found it life-changing. When the device is on, through physical training, they've regained some movement of their legs, hips, and toes, can stand for short periods, and have more stamina. Patients saw other improvements, too. It lets me be able to go out and like ride all day with my friends and get out of the wheelchair. And there's been huge improvements in like my bowel, bladder, and sexual function. It's way better, and you know it's good. That's the simplest way to put that. The study was funded in part by the NIH and Christopher and Dana Reeve Foundation. None of the patients has walked. They still use wheelchairs. Doctors caution electrical stimulation isn't a cure, but they're hopeful that with more study, spinal cord injury may no longer mean a lifelong sentence of complete paralysis. For now, there are no plans to remove the device. Ken can have it turned on for up to three hours a day, allowing for more off-roading. Cindy Sharp, Associated Press.